there he is. Oh, well, y'all today, I wanted to do something to show y'all what happens when you have, you know, somewhat stained water like I got today. And, you, you know, it seems like, you know, you go, oh, I wouldn't fish in this water. Or I wouldn't fish today just because the water's kind of stained. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a bait that'll work every time in stained water. And when you use it, it's really productive on redfish. You catch speckled trout on it, and it's really fun to fish with. It's called a chatterbait. And let me tell you, they love it. They eat it up. Look at that. It's a good fish. <laughs> oh, I love it. First fish of the day, and what a fish it is. Man, he inhaled this thing. Wow, that just shows you how aggressive. Look how far that thing was in his mouth. Look at this beautiful redfish. Wow, oh, settle down. Oh no, he's going. <laughs> oh, there he is, he's trying to get away. <laughs> oh man, look at that awesome fish. I mean, this is a beauty. Gorgeous redfish. Whoa, he ate that chatterbait. And what I'm doing is, we got stained water today. I came out today, the wind blew really hard yesterday. We came out, I said, man, the water's really dirty. I wanna show you the way to catch nice fish in stained water, just like this one. Man, let's let this beauty go. Man, oh, oh, man, she was still really spunky. Now, let me show y'all what I got here, okay? This is called a chatterbait. Similar to a, uh, to a spinnerbait, but what it is, it's a bladed bait that actually makes a lot of vibration in the water and displaces a lot of water. In, uh, and what it does, this blade, when it runs through the water, this blade wiggles and wobbles really hard. It flashes, it moves, and it displaces and vibrates a ton. And when it does that, this I put on a little, you know, just a regular, you know, style, minnow style bait on the back end of it. It looks like that going through the water. It puts a big profile in the water and he's these fish in stained water just can't pass it up. Just remember, I'm mixing my two favorite colors in dirty water. Chartreuse, black, and then chartreuse. But I'm just putting chartreuse and black together. Black's gonna give the big profile, the blade's gonna give the vibration, and that makes them come get it. Let's get us another one, that was awesome. Oh. All right, there we go. And that just goes to show you. Now, you know, I'm going along here. I've caught a lot of redfish along here. Now I caught a trout. This bait works on all species because the vibration, the displacement, everything put together, the profile that this bait gives, it shows off, it tells everything to the fish that they should eat. Their lateral line, redfish, speckled trout, every fish has got a lateral line on it. They're feeling this bait before it even comes to them. They're looking for it because they feel it coming. The speckled trout, beautiful speckled trout on the chatter bait awesome bait to use. I'm telling you, the next time you go fishing, you have got to try a chatterbait. They come in multiple colors. So remember, dark days, dirty water, dark baits, light days, real clean water, you want to use a really light bait. So today I put a black on with a chartreuse. Chartreuse I always use in dirty or clean water, but I made sure I put that black with that chartreuse on there so they could get the profile. That is one nice speckled trout on the chatterbait, the original chatterbait. This fish hit it, he missed it. He was so aggressive, he came right back and got it. Another beautiful fish. <laughs> oh man, I tell you, I love it when a plan comes together. Now, you'll see that what I did was, I mean, I'm right here, I'm inside a little pocket right here, okay? And what I did was I came up in there, pile pulled down, I'm being really quiet. That's the second fish that hit my bait in this pocket right now. So we know that these fish are holding in pockets and just because I'm using a chatterbait going down these, these banks where it's a little bit stained and I'm finding that the fish are eating this bait, it's still a learning curve. I'm sitting there saying, okay, you know what? Every time I find a little cove like this, there's three or four fish in it. That's called pattern fishing and you can get them like that. Always remember, good anglers, pattern fish. Nice red fish. All right, as you can see when I'm reeling, the rod tip vibrates a lot when you know, you're know reeling in because that thing's displacing and vibrate. Oh, there he is right there, there's one. Oh, and it vibrates so much 
the fish just want to grab onto it. It instinctively makes them bite. I think this is another red. Yep, another nice red. Oh, man. But that vibration causes these fish. Come on, boy. It causes these fish. What it does is it causes these fish to, what, what they want to do is they hear the vibration. They feel it in the lateral line. They come chasing it down. And once they see the profile, they grab it. This fish, he's pretty. A lot of red on him. Oh, but that just goes to show. I mean, gorgeous fish on the chatterbait, and I'm, you know, because it's a little stained, I put that black on there. If it wasn't stained, I'd probably put something like a, a blue moon, an open and night color with a chartreuse tail, and that would work really good. Pretty red. We're going to release him. Put him back in the water. Here he goes. All right, buddy. Oh, I got enough of them. 